Hello everybody, this is Christina Tesler from Tesla Crafts and uh, today I'm going to show a demo to how to make one uh, 4th of July card. The special about this card is we are going to use uh, cutting the metal, the soda can technique and color the metal. So let's start now. So first, let's get the material. We can use any type of the, the soft drink and the, the bottle. After we drink, we empty it and the water rings inside a couple of times and we dry. Use any any scissors because the scissor has a very sharp point. We poke a hole from this uh, flat area, not from the top. So from here, poke a hole, cut the top off, open up and then cut the bottom and then i go normally i will trim take the long blade scissors trim again so make sure this is flat this is smooth and it won't get hurt won't hurt our finger okay so this is the die we are going to use the three Valentina dies one is the flag american flag dcm 318 one is the balloon is DCM 304 and then the sentiment is DCM 3243. This is the die we are going to cut. This is the soda can. First, I take uh, the, I will tell a piece of the wax paper. Instead of cutting to the smaller size, I just fold in three layers like this. This is the real metal we are going to cut, so we need help. Help number one is the thin craft foam, one millimeter, not a two millimeter. Help number two is just a piece of car stock. So I put these two helper together. We are going to color our own color, so I don't use uh, this original can color. So I just turn inside out, use a silver side inside. Wax paper, then is the cutting die. These five items layer, layering is cutting die, wax paper, soda can, and the foam and cardstock. Five items. We use the tape, tape these five items together. Then make a sandwich, be the machine. I'm using Alentina, our own brand, the adjustable pressure machine. All the pressure machine, we all can roll forward. We can all roll backward. Forward, backward count as one round trip is round trip like this large die detail die i will go three round trip if you are cutting the smaller size smaller die and uh, less complicated like a shape earring die so you don't need a three round trip one round trip is already enough so now after three round trip let's see how did we do I tape these five items together. So now the first thing is to take off the tape. Before I release, I use uh, this roller brush, brush a little bit. Now let's see. This is the metal flag our main product. We just need to clean up these little, little tiny the stars. Second one is <coughs> stay inside the die is the wax paper. Three layers of uh, wax paper go through the machine, compressed together, become one, just one 
wax paper flag. These two helper, before I separate them, I turn over from the back side. I use the I use a tape, tape this because I'm going to use this uh, cardstock as a background. This is just to prevent they will separate. So now we can take take out this. Uh, This is the foam flag. Okay, this is another one. So this is the, see this is how we create our background. So we always make a four because the way we layer, so we always create a four. One is the metal one, one is uh, the wax paper, one is the paper, one is the foam. So now let's uh, take this uh, metal one. The next is going to color. To color the metal is to use uh, any of uh, alcohol ink related the marker or the rinker they all work even the permanent one like a sharpie will work too so i like to use i like to use a copic marker most of the copic mark copic they are iridescent so if you want the color to show on the metal to show more, just come back. You can just add more color, higher density. Now use the red. This way is we color after. Sometimes we wanted to, if you color before squibble, the color on the on top of the metal will create a very, very beautiful effect. Let's go back to a deeper color. Very, very easy to have our own color. Okay, now the flag is done. I take the the background. This background, we are going to use sticky spec, sticky paper. Open up the protection sheet. Put your object inside the pocket and the gently pad. Just make sure every part has uh, pick up these uh, micro dots. this background by the background See, it's done it's glue okay next we are going to color get the same Take this, open up, 
gently pat and uh, uncover, pick up, and glue down. It's really save a lot of our effort and the time. They are repositionable, so if I make a mistake, I always can come back. you have a hard time to pick up, just use uh, the tweezer will help. Sentiments. Now uh, next I'm going to create the edge. Take the dabber, dab into the ink pad. Just uh, to create, to make a more interesting look. You can use, you know, Coloring, you can use all kind of the tool, mini brush, uh, fantastic, uh, stencil brush, blending brush, dabber, large dabber. Okay, it's done coloring. While we have this, and uh, let's just uh, go ahead and color the balloon. Blue. We want to only use three colors. The this blue, red. Since the white doesn't show, so I use uh, the silver. Just give the. Now, because this flag, the size is a little bit bigger than whatever regular size the car, so I decided I will do this first. I will glue this card together first. So I take the tape runner or use a double-sided Double-sided the tape you can tear by hand. So I glue this to the center. And then glue these two onto the base car. Then I glue the balloon. These sticky specs they are reusable and they just uh, needed to use different location pick up the
send in my notes. Very well. Now this is black. You can use uh, the the glue, a double sided glue, the foam tape, anything, any type of the glue, liquid glue. And uh, here I just decided I wanted to. I can use the. Now 90, 95% this car is already ready, so the rest is the embellishment. We can show you the different way, and uh, this is, uh, for example, this is Wing of Stella. This is a glitter brush. We can fill up the center. We can use this. This is a one way. This will be top stellar. Or we can use the shimmer stick, sparkle, or shimmer mist, shimmer spray. Okay. Actually, you can do this too. Very quick. Next, the last step is I use a galaxy gloss. The galaxy gloss is a three D dimensional media and uh, can create any glossy, watery look. Or you can use this just as a glue. The wax paper flag. I use that. I apply the galaxy gloss and then color. See this? I colored and then coated with galaxy gloss and pick up the glitter. You can make a, just one very, very simple, nice car. Okay, so this is our finished product. I hope you like my demo today. And our show special is uh, be, before you check out, go to, uh, you can, don't forget. You please please key in the code the coupon code is expo 2020 this will give you 20% of your entire order except the handling freight and tax and then you can see our on our website you can see our previous video too and uh, please uh, follow us on Facebook and uh, YouTube and welcome your comments and uh, later I will answer any possible question you have thank you See you in a couple weeks.